We grew up in East LA. There was always like a party going on. Some family member was having like a get together, DJs playing like cumbia, rancheras, uh, like how they say in Spanish, conviviendo, you know, like communal gathering. So that translated easily for us when it came to like playing music. It helped me specifically reconnect with everything that was our culture. And that was like the soundtrack of my childhood while growing up there, you know? I'm David Pacheco and I play guitar and sing vocals. My name is Rene Pacheco. I play drums in the band, Tropa Magica. As we became immersed with the Latino music scene in Boyle Heights, we came across bands like Chicano Batman, Boya Pongo, Las Cafeteras, and they really helped us develop our, our sort of identity as Latinos. We, we came from a different type of swing, and so we were adjusting to that, which is why we would add our rock and roll to really like tie it in, make it cool. But whenever we'd see, like some of our peers would see us, I feel like they were giving us the like, that's not cumbia. We wanted to introduce different sounds. We had in our heads to bring in orchestras, you know, like some Hans Zimmer type of stuff, or, you know, like Edith Piaf. There wasn't like a method to the madness, it just kind of came across that way. It's almost like a gypsy jazz type of vibe, but it's an eclectic mashup. Every song is different. It's like you see 12 different versions of Tropa Magica on this album. Pasaron las mañanas crudos en las playas Juntos se lo quisieron y cualquier reta vencieron Pero al verme bien desnudo, gordito y greñudo Ella sonrió, ella sonrió Besando su lonjita When we had the comments, we would invite a lot of our homies to come on to our shows. And so in order to get them into like, let's say we were playing at Desert Days or at Coachella, in order to get them in for free, we told them, hey, if you all dance, we can put you on there as performers. And so then we started getting like a friend, like dressing up as a monkey. We would bring in a clown or like go-go dancers. And it, it just got super like, where we weren't really focusing on the music and we're like, you know what, we're gonna cut that out, we're gonna switch to Tropa Magica and then we're just gonna focus strictly on like making music now. We coined the term psychedelic cumbia punk. We needed a name that encapsulated what we were, who we are, and represented the music. I told Renee, hey, I'm gonna produce it and I'm just gonna record it the way I want it. And it just came out psychedelic as hell. When it comes to being authentic, it's just, uh, it's not necessarily like, like being real, but it's just like be 100% present. We tend to be a band that's like, we have an idea, we, we go with it. Our thing was never to be strictly traditional, it's just to, you know, 
create a synthesis of what we like, the two different things, and then bring it together. The fact that we're independent just allows us to work at our own time schedule. We don't like asking for permission. So we decided, like, if we're going to write music, we want to tour it and sound better than it does on the album. And so that was our ambition as Tropa Magica was to present a, a show where not only was it entertaining, but it sounded really great. this album amidst the pandemic. I, I call it a garage symphony. It's that signature stuff that you'll, you hear it and you're like, oh, that sounds like Tropa Magica. And you're like, that's us. That was risky for us, you know? And from the pandemic, we're like, your money's limited. You guys sometimes, you know, place those heavy chips on yourself. But I'll go see with this, you know? We flipped it.